We announced earlier in this week that we would be taking steps to address Iran's recent actions. Today, the U.S. sanctioned 25 individuals and entities that provide support to Iran's ballistic missile program and the Islamic Revolutionary Quds Force. These designations are in response to Iran's ongoing ballistic missile program, including its ballistic missile test on January 29, 2017, as well as Iran's continued support for terrorism. We've taken these actions today after careful consideration and will continue to respond with appropriate action. These designations mark yet another stop in our continued effort to aggressively target Iran's ballistic missile program and terrorism-related activities. Over at the Department of Defense, Secretary Mattis is on a final day of a two-day trip through Asia. He visited Korea yesterday and Japan today, returning to Washington tomorrow. Secretary Mattis' visit emphasizes the priority President Trump places on the Asia-Pacific and on strengthening the U.S.-Republic of Korea alliance in the face of a growing North Korea nuclear and ballistic missile threat. And the President's going to be signing some executive orders to living some I think um, one of the things that the President has said throughout the campaign um, during the transition and since becoming president is that he doesn't like to telegraph his options. That's how he believes that you can have a gr much greater successful option. So I'm not going to go into the full extent. I think today's sanctions really represent a very, very strong stand against the actions that Iran has been taking and make it very clear that the deal that they struck private previously was not in the best interest of this country and that President Trump is going to do everything he can to make sure that Iran has stayed in check. Speaking of good numbers, let's turn to the jobs report.